Yo, word up, it's your man T Spizzle. That's DJ Tony Soul, man. We here in New York. Actually, we in Jersey City, Jersey City, Union City. Come on, man. We fuck up. We like we in Union City, Jersey City, uh, border. Right here across the water from the city, man. Um, you know, on the travels, doing what we doing with my peoples, man. With my man Sadu, say what up, people. What up? All right, with my man Daron, my man Vegas Steel, my man Bunty, my man Greg. <laughs> That's my whole thing. I, 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 th- I think you missed a couple names. <laughs> I can't pronounce those words. Uh, that's my man right there. That's my host. That's my, that's my New York host, man. Yeah. All the hosts we got that you've seen thus far, that's my man right there. That's my, out of all the, all the hosts I had, I come all the way to New York and I get an Indian host. Yeah, get in here. Get in here. Oh, what Indian. <laughs> it's all good. They, they know who he is. They've seen him in a couple of videos now. They know who he is. That's man. right. So, Word up. so we talking about the New York club scene. I've been asking, you know, since... Uh, had a chance to be around, check out a couple club scenes around the world, and really see what's popular, and see how the Europeans, of course, really, wait, my man, all right, really, really, really love the... Tony, so you're too tall. Yeah, I'm too tall, finally. Too tall. All right, so, you know what I mean? Like, really see how Europeans embrace house music to an extent that was, that, that I really thought was kind of embarrassing at some points when being an American in, in Europe, because I was like... What? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's like that. Like, yeah. oh, house music. Oh, they just almost felt like they was telling me about house music. Like, I mean, in Rome, Europeans were. Yeah, in Rome, they, they, they owned house music yeah. for how long? In Rome, they had they three radio it. stations. Dedicated. My to man, it. I was with my man Andrea. My you guys man Andrea got too from good. Rome, you, you know, got too good. he was switching radio stations where they were playing house music in the car. Ah, Not just in the radio, car. in the car, like no. regular radio stations in the city. I guess they ain't got clear channel out there. No. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, bong. You hit it with a quick bong. So, yeah, we talking about the club scene here and how uh, how different it is. I'm asking, you know, because I mean, my, my, my experience with New York house music club scene goes, she has to go back. So long ago that I don't even have like far removed. He's not gonna put a date. Ain't gonna put that out. I'm not setting it up. He's not gonna put a date on it. <laughs> but on on the, on, the, on my pop's birthday, I will say this: <laughs> as we talk about this, I will give I'm pay homage to my pops, who uh, as a as a, a radio jock in the '70s, as, as the premier radio jock in New York in the '70s, and all the hip hop legends. Happy birthday, always, Hank Spade. Happy birthday, wow. Pop Dude. Uh, that come up to me and tell me all the hip hop legends and be like, yo, yo, your pops, hey, ah, like, yo, that was the man, that's why I learned how to do this and that, 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 that. Yeah, um, but you just breezed over and said the legends, right? You, you guys don't know what legends. Uh, These are real legends. Yeah, and it's cool, it's awesome. I mean, yeah, every hip hop, every, yeah, all of them, yeah. But, so, but then now being in the house music game and seeing how it, the, the, it's the, those exact same records that influenced the house game. Oh, yeah. It's the only only reason and let me say this. The only reason that Chicago gets the gets the, the notoriety of being the home of house music is number one because you named it because of the spot. The, what was it, the house the, the something the, the warehouse warehouse record store that you instead of saying warehouse record music you said house music. But the only re- other reason that you get the notoriety is because New York went hip hop. Instead of going, you know, going we, you know, hip hop, we took hip hop on and hip hop changed the world, and now it's. Cause, cause I'm it, not don't want to be responsible for what's going on now. Late seventies was it? But, I mean, come on, they were playing house music in the loft in 1975. That's cool. That's good. In the loft, we talking, you know, man, Kuso, big up, respect. So, boom, all right, we got past all that, boom, boom. So now we talking about the club scene, where it's different, and it's, it's, I'm asking them like, so are there a few club scenes in? We know Cielo. I know many of you have heard of Cielo. Many of you have heard of um, Pasha, of course. Um, but then what, what, what did, my, my question is that there's still the mid-level sweaty joints where they just playing some raw shit. You know what amazes me? After all these years, Webster Hall is still a mid-level sweaty joint. Webster Hall? Yeah. Still is a mid-level joint? Yeah. Wow. Webster Hall does everything from hip-hop to house. Yeah, to okay, okay. Today. Right, right, right. And packed as hell every single night. Even the house joint. And they put on artists. Yes. And they're not playing progressive. Da, 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 no, they got they that. They might, got that too. They right? might. It depends on the artist. No, just, I mean, well. I mean. Not, uh, whatever. I mean, they might. Disrespect. It depends on the artist. So we're not just, you know. But I mean, you know what I mean. I mean, house music. Like, whether it's techno, the, the, the good sound. techno, to soulful and everything in between. Or they have spots where they're playing that. For sure. Yeah. There's plenty of spots. For sure. Um, there's enough. 
There's and enough. it's growing. It's but you can find a spot on the weekend to go to and do sweat. Oh, for yeah, sure. Definitely. Okay. For sure. And, yeah. and there's tons of great promoters doing amazing work bringing big artists into the city. Um, well, I expect that. We, I expect we wish to be the big artists. that they'd yeah. be putting more and more underground guys on, but that's a different story. It happens. It happens, though. It's, it's growing. Story. It's story. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like back in the day, we had it here. It was just sweat. Sweat factories everywhere. Right. That's what you expect. And then, that shit just fell off a cliff. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just, there was a point where you don't, you're not gonna find house music anywhere in the city, pretty much. Like, it's gonna be a mission to find it. Where everything was hip hop. That, 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 that's the culture that we, we try to change. And then it came back. It came and back. It came back. Right now. And it's catching it. Cause house music right it's now is really, really, it's really, really, growing, really, growing, really, 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 there's talent coming out of New York. There's a lot of just oh hell yeah. Well, it's always the talent is not a yeah. question. There's always going to be talent coming out of New York. Yeah. But whether or not we supply the actual, you know, uh, need for the talent. Do you feel that New York is still the capital of the house music? And you, you honestly say probably not. Just from your opinion, not not it, being. It, it, I don't think I don't think anybody in the world, maybe Berlin, does tech better than New York. That's yeah, my no, that, New tech, York's definitely really? got its tech now. Really. New York's had a tech, tech sound that's just raw. Techno or tech uh, house? Or even though it's not the predominant sound, the it's the sound thing. of tech. It, New York. Yeah. E- even though it's not the predominant genre in New York City. Right, right, right. But as far as house, a lot of artists yeah. who are respected for it. There's a lot of venues that really, really love it. People that love it. So you get with it. New hmm. York City probably brings tech better than anybody else in the world. Oh. About that. Ooh. About that, for sure. Ooh. And, and this man right here brings it better than most of them. Because I tell you, man, the, the tech is huge in Europe. Like it's like it's just not even a, it's not even a thought process. It's not even a second thought. So come like, see us. <laughs> well, now nah, they're, they're probably like, man, come see us. Like, they're they're Berlin. They're like, Berlin. What? Not even like Berlin. I, yeah, I haven't been to Berlin yet, but uh, just in the places I've been, like the. Although they look like, say for instance, in Rome, they love soulful house music. The, the radio stations were playing soulful house music. The people, the Italians know the words to songs that we don't even know the words to. Their versions of classics are our versions, our classics. Okay, and then they have classics. Well, no, no, no. But they also, they, they respect they our classics, but then they also have their classics as well. So they have more classics than us. Sure. They know words to songs that I ain't never heard nobody here sing words to. I ain't never heard nobody. I got my cousins from Chicago. My cousins, <laughs> I, I grew up here. Like, come on, my God. So it's, it's, it's incredible to see that. No, but, but, but when it comes to the clubs, it's that high energy oh, yeah. tech sound that yeah. they want to hear. Yes. Yeah. Like Milan, they want to hear that tech, you know, they want to hear pumping the, they want to hear. It, you know what I, mean? so, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I, don't, I mean, I guess I, I'm not going to disrespect what you're saying in terms of saying that it don't get no better than this, but I'm no, saying... No, 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 no. you got to understand. I'm saying yeah, I, my, it, my it may get better was, than this. Wow. But I nobody it. brings it quite like New York does. That I got to mean, well, that, that's a statement that's so general, though, because no, 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 whatever like, we do in New York, uh, is, of course we're going to do it better than anybody. Uh, gonna bring it this is true. Now. This Even is true. though they may have a great sound coming out of Berlin or a great sound coming out of Prague, great sound coming out of whatever... They're not gonna bring it. Whatever sound they have, they're not gonna bring it like we're gonna bring it. Is that rough edge? It's gonna be a raw, yeah. 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 I, I feel that. Sure. I definitely feel that. For sure. All right, all right, I got that. Now, I told you before, like my my whole thing about being sure to not be labeled as a soul files DJ because that's the twenty soul. Not that like this. I mean, like I love soulful house, but that's the dude that's playing from nine to eleven thirty. Right. And I want to bump that bitch. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> You're playing from 9 to 11 30, and you know, they're giving you a little couple of euros, and they send out and they're making this nice sound. Oh, gorgeous music. Right, right, right. right. So, so, lovely. <laughs> so lovely. So lovely. <laughs> but then the party goes till 9 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got something for the rest of y'all. Right. Hey, nah, man. You want to be that dude playing from 1 to 4. Based on my Somebody sin, give me a, a 7 p.m. Five. tonight. 5 a.m. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, that. that's, that's a dream. I'm saying in terms of the slot, in terms of the, the premiere slot is when everybody's ready to just, the, the drugs have hit everybody <laughs> in the perfect way, everybody's feeling the drinks, it's hit everybody the perfect way, and they're ready to party. And they're on the beach? And the, whether they're on the beach or they, it's, it's a fucking uh, uh, November in, in, in the middle of Berlin. Or it's a, or it's a January, snowy January in Berlin, or whatever. It's, it's at that point where at 4 a.m., at 2 a.m., 
We gone. Yeah, I'd rather be on the beach though. Uh, me too. <laughs> I mean, my best party. I mean, I've been, I've been, I started, I've been DJing since I was nine, I'm 43, and my best party was on the beach and the, the atmosphere. But, but then again, it was in after hours, so that's different. So it's like 6 a.m. The after hours starts and it goes to noon or something, right? So then you got it's a completely different thing than you playing from a set. I'm talking about from that point, you could play some soul house. Yeah. You could do a little bit of everything. You're on the beach, you're getting them warmed up, they're getting rewarmed up, you know, everybody's taking their next dose. Anyway, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's cool. But playing like um a regular set, I'm talking about a club that opened at ten yeah. and closes at six. So house I guess you can Again, from here, the club that opens at ten, you play from nine. <laughs> Because they have you playing for the bartenders and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play some music stack glasses? <laughs> right, right. And no disrespect to Soul for House. I, know. I mean, I, uh, come on. I mean, we get it bumping though at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What's up? Nah, oh, man, come, house? On. Come, on. come on. Come on. Get ready to do that in Miami in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, I just, that, that gave me a, a love for Tech House. Like, that, that's your thing. Like, that, that's, like I, I did a gig, I, I did a gig in, in, uh, in Morocco, and I'm the headliner. And then they had another DJ close on a Saturday night, on Friday night. And I was like, what you mean? Was like, you want to go a little, you know, the, the, the owner was like, you want to go a little. And I was, you know, I was, I was flustered, man. I was sweating on the inside of someone. I was trying to figure it out. Yo, I was mad, so mad. But, you know, obviously, you're overseas. You got to maintain a level of uh, control that you, that you wouldn't maintain here. And, like, I didn't maintain it, but for now, even when I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Which, right, you, you, you maintain a lot of level of control there, though. Uh, to a degree, yeah, 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 to a degree. But uh, um, ultimately, still got kicked out. But um, you, you, I was just like, damn, I didn't get it. But then when I listened to him play, and my dude was just rocking that tech house, and he was just dum 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 dum, dum, dum. that shit was rocking. And everybody was like, ah, and I was like, oh, okay, definitely. I see. Yeah, I get it. All right, all right. And I mean, I can feel it, and that matches my energy on the decks the way I like to play anyway. And b- before I went there, shortly before that, I was in Milan, my man Andrea had hooked me up with some tunes, and I hadn't played them yet. So that night, when I went home after the gig, I went home, was listening to them, figuring out I got my playlist together. The next night, the Saturday night, I closed. Right. I, like, I got this, I got my clothes, and yeah, I'm do my headline thing, because fuck that. Take them home. Right, right, take them home. Take and home. that shit was so fucking fun. The tech house is just, it caught hold. Cause the tech house is, all it is, is a little bit more tempo, right? It's a little bit more, a little bit more minimal, not minimal, but a little bit more minimal than deep house. We like to call it a little grimy. A little grimy, dirty, it could be dirty if that, you want it to be. That's what we like. Yeah. But then you can still infuse soul into it. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? For I can sure. still come it, in with, no, no, but, but not necessarily a long ass soulful vocal from I, I, I'm different from everybody else, right? But in my in my sets, in my tech house sets as well, I like those infused with soul. Right, right, right. Because honestly, I'm not playing this music because it doesn't have soul. I'm playing right, it because right. it has the soul. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Like so you that's find those why tracks that have that. Yeah. They're just so much more appealing because they've right, got right. that. And then, like I said, you include everybody when you do that. Exactly. Four in the morning, look, the baby part of crew. Come on, man. I mean. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, Still up, I love my baby part of crew. I'll see you at four in the uh, afternoon. You know, I, I, I read an article with Dennis Ferrer talked about it. Like, you know, I mean, come on, man. We got to push forward. I mean, do you want to really be playing to, you know, 60, 60 uh, heads listening to the same old cuts? You know, and some crit, and, and he said it, yeah. and some little spot in Jersey. I know he's from right around the way here, right? Right around so, the corner. <clears throat> like, yo, from some little spot in, you know, little, or do you try to advance the music here? What are you going to do to advance the music? You can't advance the music by playing the same old 45 classic cuts. It can't be done. It can't be done. So you got to find a way. He found a way, too. I like the way he, he infuses that, too, because he can go, his sound has that. And, and he does it flawlessly in between. Like, he'll go right, right, right. to deep. Right. To deep. Right. And, and he'll give you both at the same time. I ain't mad at do it at all. Yeah. He's good. good. Yeah, I love that story. It's probably my favorite DJ out there. That's guess. big. That's guess, big. You know? he's, de- he's definitely my, is my, he's definitely my favorite DJ around the corner. But gotta be, right? Yeah, even more so than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> J-Rock is my favorite. one of my favorite DJs. You're probably not even heard of him. J-Rock? The West Coast guy. Um, yeah. 
uh, from uh, I've got a couple Beach of albums. Yeah, I've got a couple oh, of tracks. He's, he's the dude that brings the classics. To, you, he's cutting like a motherfucker. You bring, you bring in the classics. Oh, you, amazing. You, you hear his voice? He cuts right? like the, the, the classic. He cuts a, him and Jay Dillard work together a lot. Yeah. yeah. So that's it, man. Conversations from New Jersey. We had a good time talking, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. We just saw the house. You know what it is, man. It's your man T. Spizzle, my man Sadu, my man got on, uh, uh, Greg, uh, 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 Baby Steel. Um, uh, <laughs> you know what it is, man. We out, y'all. Deuces.